What's up? My name's Jeff, and this is the Atomic Moto field review of the Alpine Stars A8 chest protector. Uh, you know, at first glance, this chest protector looked really similar to every other chest protector on the market. Um, you got a chest plate, you got a back plate, you got some adjustable shoulder straps, and uh, some fastening straps around the midsection. But what sets this chest protector apart from anything else out there is these huge rib plates on either side. Uh, anybody that's ever bruised, broken, or cracked a rib will tell you it sucks. You sit around waiting to heal, uh, trying not to laugh, and praying you don't ever have to sneeze. So uh, it's really nice to have that added protection uh, for your rib cage. You know, looking at it, I kind of wondered if uh, it would be uncomfortable, if it would chafe, um, or if it would restrict my range of motions. Uh, honestly, I didn't know it was there. Uh, riding, I felt really comfortable in it, uh, and, and I couldn't even tell these plates were there. Once again, no one else has that out there. Um, one thing I did notice was the back plate on this. You know, the back plate is really nice and stout. It's thick plastic. It really offers good protection to the spine. Uh, but I would say it's flexible, but it doesn't articulate. And, and I kind of felt it pressing on my back. I would stop short of saying that it was uncomfortable, uh, but I was aware that it was there. And, uh, you know, this, this could be me. It could just be the fact that um, I've got the posture of a lazy teenager or a Neanderthal man. So who knows? Maybe this will uh, work out and be orthopedic and uh, straighten up my slouch. A couple other, other points is uh, it's got options, and I like options. Uh, this has the optional shoulder pads on it. You can attach these. You know, if you wanna, um, if you want the shoulder protection, or if you're riding a track, I left them off because I wear a backpack, uh, and they kind of the straps of the backpack kind of interfere with the shoulder pads, so I left them off. But I really like having options when it comes to gear. Um, this attaches with some straps and a couple screws. Uh, word of caution about the screws: they're really soft. There's been a bunch of complaints about them, but if you use a coin and not a flathead screwdriver, and if you don't crank down on them, uh, it's really not that big of an issue. Uh, one other negative uh, I've found about this is the fastening system. It's a, it's a belt and buckle fastening system, and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Trying to feed the, the belt through the buckle and get the hole lined up, uh, it's a little frustrating. You know, really with the chest protector, you're gonna put it on, you're gonna leave it on, during your whole ride. It's not like goggles or gloves or a helmet where every time you stop, you're gonna take it off. So yeah, it's a little frustrating getting this thing on, um, but there again, you're gonna leave it on all day long. So it's not that big of an issue. Um, good ventilation on this. You know, it's pretty freaking cold and windy out here right now. So I'm definitely feeling where all the vents are on this thing uh, and, and good a good amount of coverage for your upper torso. Once again, you know, it's got these rib plates and that's huge. Nobody else really offers this kind of substantial protection to your, your rib areas. Uh, Alpine Stars is pretty proud of this thing. This comes in at 199 bucks uh, for the price point. So they're, they're definitely proud of it. Thanks for checking out the Atomic Moto field review of the Alpine Stars A8 chest protector. Now let's go take this thing for a test ride.